I did a lot of research before I bought my Van Cleef Sweet Alhambra bracelet and I also just got my bracelet back from the resizing service so I thought I would just share everything all the important things that you need to know before you buy your next Van Cleef piece so that you don't have to spend time to research on things like repairing, cleaning, different stones and resizing etc and let me know if you have any questions let's get right into the video. First, let me give you a quick crash course on the collection size and stone. If you're already really familiar with Van Cliff, feel free to skip to the next section from the timeline below. There are collections like Classic Alhambra, Playful Pearly, Frivo, and the new Lucky Spring collection. The most popular ones are Alhambra and the Pearly. Alhambra is the signature for leaf clover. They're inspired by the clover leaf. Each leaf is supposed to bring love, health, fortune, and the luck to its owner. Who doesn't like that, right? When it comes to the size in the Alhambra collection, the smallest and the most dainty size, which is the one that I have called Sweet Alhambra. The next size up is called Vintage Alhambra. The next size up, which is bigger, is called Magic Alhambra. Certain stone color combos is only available in certain combination. It's not like all different sizes have different stones available. When it comes to stones, the red one is called carnelian, white iridescent one is mother of pearl, the green one is malachite, there is also the black onyx, the brownish one is tiger's eye. There are also pure gold, rose gold, and diamond pieces as well. Each stone also has different meanings like the carnelian is like the symbol of life, endowed with the power to facilitate the soul's journey to the next world. Carnelian also denotes joy and happiness. Also, the red is such a great color in Chinese culture and to me personally as well. I'm definitely sold on the red color. The onyx is like protection. You can look into different meanings for other stones as well. When I asked which stone is the most difficult or most easy to care when it comes to Van Cliff to their customer service, they mentioned to me such a thing called most hardness scale. It's basically a scale that tells you how hardness scratch resistant of your stone is. One is the most soft, 10 is the most hardest. And I'll give you an example. Diamond is 10 on the scale, so you don't have to worry about the diamond piece from Van Cliff. It makes a difference when it comes to different stone pieces. Based on the hardness scale level, Mother of Pearl is the most delicate material. It's really beautiful, but you're not supposed to get it wet. It's easily get scratched, lose its shine, if you get it wet. And I also saw some people say they turned yellow after a long time. The other delicate stone is the green malachi. I've seen some horror story online that people swim in their malachi pieces. The green color turned into whitish color. Even you don't get it wet from what I read is that this piece is really hard to maintain. It doesn't age very well over time. If you have any malachi piece, comment down below to let me know your experience. Pieces are like tight Tiger's eye onyx, the carnelian, are considered harder wearing and easier to take care compared to other stones. Generally speaking, if you're looking for everyday wear, then gold, rose gold, white gold will be a better option to you because makeup, shower, perfume, sleeping, gym are all okay. Next, let me show you everything come with the Van Cleef purchase. So I bought my Van Cleef Sweet Alhambra bracelet from their official website, which is their e-boutique. The purchase comes with a giant velvet box travel pouch. I think the travel pouch size you get is pretty random. Like mine is such a dainty bracelet, but they gave me a really big travel pouch, which is really nice. And then there's a Van Cliff shopping bag. There's a booklet including the care and services. It includes information like how you should be caring for your pieces. The service comes with the purchase, like the resizing. And there's an authenticity card. So the authenticity card includes 
includes serial number, reference number, and the date of the purchase of the piece, which is the same as the serial number on your bracelets. There are four different ways that you can purchase their pieces. I'll talk a little bit about the differences. First, you can buy it from Van Cliff official website, which is also their e-boutique. This is also where I bought mine bracelet and I have really good impression of their customer services because I asked many many questions for this video and the customer service all patiently answered all my questions. If the piece that you want on their site is showing as call for availability when you call they can try to locate this piece for you in any of the physical Van Cliff boutiques. If you want to check the shade of the stone for example how each shade of red carnelian looks different they will also be able to show you a picture of the shade for you to decide. The e-boutique source for you from their physical boutique, it still follows their e-boutique return policy. You can get a full refund within 30 days. If the piece is not available in any of their corporate boutique, they can also place you on the waiting list for the item, which I'm currently placed on the waiting list for a certain piece with the e-boutique. When you buy online directly, you're not able to pick the shade for your stone or leave any note to tell them you want a lighter or darker shade of red. If you're buying stones pieces like carnelian in the vintage size, I would recommend to see it in person to pick or call their customer service to ask them to source the right shade for you. But if you're buying something dainty like my sweet Alhambra, I feel like it doesn't make a crazy difference for me personally as I bought mine online. The other thing I want to mention is that if you order online, you do get the big box like mine, which you don't get in the physical boutique order. The next place that you can also buy from VCA corporate boutique, which is owned by VCA. However, I was told that the corporate boutique, if you're not happy with the shade, you only get store credit or exchange for return. This is something that you need to know just in case if you change your mind. The other way that you can purchase is from the VCA boutique inside of Neiman Marcus. They're not affiliated directly with the corporate, so everything follows Neiman's return policy. You can get full refund and you can also get your points for your Neiman credit card. San Francisco only has the VCA inside of Neiman. There are certain things are better in the VCA boutique compared to the VCA inside of Neiman, which I will cover in a bit in the next section. The next way is you can also buy pre-loved Van Cliff pieces from online retailer. You can get slightly cheaper than the retail price. The price difference is not huge. This is also why VCA holds their value better than other fine jewelry pieces. From my observation, the lower price point VCA piece is close to retail. The big ticket pieces like pearly bracelet, you can get more discount when you buy pre-loved. I'm guessing it's because the higher end market has less customers overall. The only thing you want to pay attention is that if you do buy, you want to buy from reputable online retailers, which I'll link down for you in the description box. When it comes to cleaning and care, let me share uh, Van Cliff's official stance with you first. You need to avoid exposure to fragrance, chemicals, or cosmetics as these would affect the stone color and the form. It's best to wait until fragrance is dry completely before you wear your jewelry. No exposure to high temperature like prolonged sun exposure. You can't expose the piece to water, fresh, chlorinated, or salt water, which means you shouldn't get it wet and you can swim with it. No gym because they said you're supposed to prevent it from being knocked or from coming contact with harmful substances. Van Cliff recommend cleaning with a soft and a dry cloth. Diamond is the only piece that they recommend to use water to clean. They also recommend to visit Van Cliff Boutique, which they would provide you appropriate cleaning cloth and a shine th service to revive the original brilliance of each piece. Also, the shine service is free of charge. So when you take it to the boutique, to clean some of the pieces can be put in their ultrasonic machine to clean it for you. Others, according to my essay, they will use Dawn dish soap to wash it. Surprising, right? Because 
Dawn dish soap is a pH neutral soap, no other chemicals in there. You can just walk in and drop off your piece to any Van Cleef boutique if you happen to be in the area. I did mine when I pick up my bracelet from resizing. It only took me a few minutes. You don't have to do it all the time, but this is something really nice to have. The customer service also told me that after I purchased my piece, I should go into the Van Cleef boutique to get a microfiber cleaning cloth from the boutique and when I walk into the Van Cleef boutique in the Neiman Marcus I asked for it they said Van Cleef has never supplied them any cleaning cloth so I believe the customer service was referring to Van Cleef's corporate boutique they have the cleaning cloth but the Neiman one doesn't so they only have this Neiman Marcus fine jewelry cleaning cloth and this is what they gave to me. This is the part I mentioned that corporate boutique is nicer than the VC inside of Neiman. If you don't have any cleaning cloth, that is totally fine too because you can just use any cloth for your glasses because those are microfiber cloth and they are gentle enough for all the fine jewelry. For the delicate piece, I mentioned it in the hardness scale section like the Mother Earth Pro or Malachi, you really don't want to shower, swim or get it wet or anything like that for the pieces you want to absolutely follow the guidelines but honestly for pieces like my carnelian or onyx they are actually more hard wearing the customer service person did tell me that it's okay to get it wet what's more important is to avoid the chemicals because you don't know what kind of ingredients of your lotion body wash or hand wash has it's not recommended to submerge inside of the water for a very long time I actually saw quite some people mention online that they wear that pieces to shower and sleep with it the carnelian onyx pieces are totally fine i'm guessing they're using less chemical product because water is fine but then you have to avoid the chemical stuff essentially you can decide what you want to do with these hard wearing pieces like carnelian i will also talk about the repair policy in a bit i don't wear my carnelian pieces um 24 by 7 at this moment i don't shower with it and I don't sleep with it. I definitely have gotten it wet when I was washing my hands and cooking stuff but it seems to be fine so far. If you want to be extra cautious then best don't shower with it. Van Cleef piece is handmade so each piece of stone is unique in its own way. Not only that but also cut of the stone is different as well as which caused the gap between the stone and the settings. You would have to see it under the light. When I asked the VCA about the gap in between the stone and the settings and I was told that these gaps are totally normal as long as the gap is not crazy big you're totally fine. The customer service said if I'm not happy with the gap they are happy to exchange another piece for me and I just don't think it's necessary however this is also something you might want to be mindful about stone like a mother or pearl will definitely shrink over time when it gets water a lot in theory they all natural stones and any type of stone are possible to have the shrinkage what happens is that if the piece shrink then the gap between the stone and the beads on the settings will be bigger I have seen some photos online where people show their other or pro shrink over time. I haven't seen anybody say online that their carnelian pieces have shrank at all. I have asked the customer service this question also. I was told that carnelian is pretty hard wearing and they have not seen any replacement requests because of the shrinkage. This leads to the next section to the repair policy. What if you hit something or your stone crack? What's nice is that if anything happens to your stone, Van Cliff can see simply just replace the stone piece for you. If you want to replace my carnelian in the sweet size, it usually costs about 180. Different size and different stone price will be varied according to Van Cliff. but it's really nice service that you have the option to replace the stone. Also compared to the piece itself, the repair price is definitely very affordable. I have not done any repair myself, but something worth asking is that if you do end up wanting to replace it, I wonder if you can leave a note saying that I want a lighter shade of carnelian or deep shade if you will be able to choose the shade of the piece. Anyone have stone replacement experience? Can you please leave a comment down below to let me know? So any Van Cleef 
necklace bracelet purchase you can do the resizing for free within 90 days of purchase i asked the limit if you extend it or cut it shorter within two inches it's all free anything longer than this range it will come at a cost and cost vary so for the boutique purchase you can simply do the resize in the boutique but for online purchases, you have two ways of doing it. One is you can do it with the online e-boutique. What they will do is they will send you a resizing kit and then you measure it yourself and you send a bracelet to them. They will do the resize and then send it back to you. The second option is that you can take your bracelet to your local boutique and with your receipt and then they can do the resize for you in the boutique as well. I did mine in the Van Cliff boutique inside of Neiman. The main reason is because I wasn't sure if I will be able to measure my wrist correctly, do everything right. I just wanted an essay's professional opinion so I choose to do it in person. The e-boutique estimated that it usually takes about two to three weeks. When I did it in person in San Francisco, the essay told me the estimation is four to six weeks due to the crazy situation impact. Things are delayed for sure. So in the end, it took me about five weeks to have the resize done. The other thing that I want to mention is that when they do the resize, they take the link from both ends of the bracelet to make sure it's symmetrical. I totally cut my bracelet for one inch. I got a two small piece of the chain back after I did the resizing. Anything that they cut it for you, they will return it back to you. The other thing is when I drop off my bracelet, I only give them my bracelet. I didn't bring any travel power or anything with me. When I pick up the bracelet, I didn't ask for anything. The SA in VCA boutique packaged my bracelet with another box and a different travel pouch give it back to me, which is really nice. If you don't, I assume that when you pick up your resizing piece, you should be able to ask for another travel pouch and a box. VCA also provide personalized engraving service for rings and pendants. This service is complimentary. The max inscription length will vary depend on the design of your piece. Besides your authenticity card when you got with your purchase, VCA can also provide an authentication service for appraisal or insurance purpose, which they will examine your piece, refer to their historical archive in order to certify its authenticity. After the authentication process, you will receive a letter of authenticity that you can keep. This service usually takes a few months the price of the authentication service is $1,800 and if it's for insurance purpose, it's complimentary for contemporary creations and $1,200 for other creations. After I wear my bracelet for longer, I'll definitely share a review video including the wear and tear. Definitely stay tuned for that video. Leave me a comment down below to let me know if you think this is helpful or if you have any questions and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!